This is Ancel AD410 Pro and not only it can be used as engine code reader, you can also test your charging system with it. It can check battery out of the car, in the car, but also you can do cranking and charging test, which determines if your alternator is working correctly. This code reader was sent to me free from Ancel, so thanks for sponsoring the video. But let's check it out in action. So first thing I noticed when I unboxed it, that it is very well protected. It has like this rubber case, so you don't have to worry about anything happening to it. Okay, there is also user manual that I don't read and you have cable to change it from code reader to battery tester. So what you do is connect this extension and now we are ready to use battery testing functionality. I have a couple of old batteries in garage, so let's try it. So first thing you want to do is connect your red and black clips. I also like that these clips can be really wide open because some clips on battery test they're like you cannot open them wide enough. So Ancel has very good clips. You just connect them to battery, go to battery tab. Now you have to input details about which battery are you testing and also size of battery. And this information you will find on sticker on battery. So first check it and then make sure you are inputting correct value so you will get correct result. Now just hit test. Test is running for about 5 to 10 seconds and just like that I got a result of good battery but needs to be recharged. So for battery results you want to check health and charge because health is most important. If you have low health you can charge it but simply battery will not work as good. You need to replace it but if you have good health and it is only low on charge you just have to recharge it and it will work good as new. I also had two other batteries in garage. One was simple battery, I tested it and it got health like 2%, so result was replace. And then another battery, this is AGM, so I selected that in menu. And for this battery, I got same result of replace. No surprises, because these two batteries I replaced before for my older vehicles. Next I planned to do cranking test, so I connected Ancel to my battery, get inside car and try to start it. However, I have low battery and I wasn't able to start, so I had to drink my old Passat to save the day and jump start Fabia with cables. So unfortunately no cranking test in this video, but with Fabia running I could at least do charging test, so see if my alternator is good or bad. So with car running, connect it to your battery and you have to complete three tests. First test is just engine at idle. It will tell you what to do and then you just hit enter and wait while test is over. Then you will do second test, also instructions you have on screen. Just follow instructions, hit test, wait for test to finish and after you complete third and last test you will get result of charging and that will tell you if your alternator is good or bad. In my case is good. Okay, so for testing your charging system, whether it is battery in car, out of car, or doing alternator check, scanner works fine. And now let's check if it is as useful as code reader, like it is as battery tester. Now remember, this is still code reader, so it will have limited functionality. If you are looking for more advanced scanner, I suggest you to get my full buyer's guide and there are all scanner types and also best picks to choose, so you will save a lot of money. It's free, go download it in description. Okay, so we test some batteries with this Ancel AD410. We did alternator test, but now let's take a look how it works as engine code reader. Okay, so unplug this connector and I can connect it to OBD. Okay, this looks very similar to Ancel AD530. Let's check what we have here. So we worked with this battery. First, let me check settings. There is something interesting. Oh, you even got multiple languages. That's cool. Okay, but most of important functions will be in this OBD. So let's check this out. And as with every good code reader, I'm expecting to see read clear codes, live data with graphs, option to see freeze frame data, all that code reader stuff. Okay, so readiness page, no check engine light. No DTC in this ECU, readiness, blah, blah. Okay, let's check this out. First we can do IM readiness check. So checking our emission monitors. 
this is good for that initial check of car and right away we can see we have one pending code so there will be some start code but it is only pending that's why I don't even have check engine light because it was just picked up by ECU recently and it can do very good display of readiness monitors I like when you have encoder reader monitors marked by color like green for good yellow for not good and grey for not available that way you can see instantly because some code readers just say with text like complete incomplete and then you have to look for every monitor here you can see right away what is going on ok so now we know we have some pending code so we might as well check it out read code and it is PO342 camshaft position sensor now I'm wondering if I can see some code description like in AD530 maybe if I hit this enter oh yeah yeah so it got also possible causes for fault codes which is very good so when you have some fault code you can also check why you might have this issue I could also erase that code but I don't want to do that right now there is no point in erasing it I don't even have check engine light and then of course most important feature of code readers data stream this is same like AD530 we can view all items so this will display all pits that are available to see all that basic stuff we have fuel system, load, coolant temperature, fuel times, speed, RPM, timing blah blah blah, oxygen sensors so all that important engine life data and for graphs I think we will be able to display multiple graphs let's see how many one, two let me do I want to do absolute throttle position this one yeah so three graphs maximum but what I like about these Ansel code readers they have displayed minimum and maximum value and on bottom you also can see value as text so even though it's not very clear from graph what is happening you can use it just like the demonstration of data and then verify what is going on in this text and minimum and maximum values but I mean it's not that bad either oh we have some light <laughs> not the light you want to see maybe I can fix it No? Ok, didn't work. Don't do that if you have oil pressure light. I know for this car is only problem with sensor, not with oil pressure actually. Ok, but what I wanted to say before I was checking oxygen sensors, and even though it is small screen for watching live data, I mean I could see what is going on and actually determine something. And then we have everything you need in code reader, so freeze frame data, oxygen sensor test, onboard monitoring, EVAP system test and vehicle information so it supports all global OBD functionality ok so the Ansel AD410 Pro it is a handy tool you can not only use it as code reader but also test your battery alternator so you can kind of use it in multiple ways with just one device and then how much it costs like that can change so I will put link in the description and you can check it out